This is a newly constructed architectural masterpiece of a home built by Blue Heron here in Summerlin, Nevada. This property has some remarkable architectural curve details. It has two pools, a private hot tub, beautiful interior finishes, glass enclosed wine cellar, and a private rooftop with some amazing golf course views. And today we're going to tour this property in its entirety. But before we do, make sure to subscribe because we're touring more homes just like this one every single week on the channel. Also, before we begin, huge thank you to the listing agent Lily for making this tour possible. You can find all her information and Blue Heron's information down below in the description. Now let's get started. here today in bright and sunny Summerlin, Nevada, about to tour this remarkable newly constructed private estate here right in front of me. This reclaimed auto wooden gate takes you into this very spacious motor court area. We have beautiful exterior contemporary architecture. We also have a glass enclosed pedestrian gate to my right hand side. Smooth stucco finish lines the entire exterior of the property. This property also has a very interesting floor plan. The right hand side of the house is all part of the main property. And then to the left, that is the private five bedroom attached guest house, which we will be touring at the end of our video. This space of course looks amazing, very architectural details and design throughout. We have some cacti plants here on the exterior and more drought tolerant landscaping to my right. And I also love the metallic shaded exterior detail that they have right here as well. Adds more contemporary character to the space. Follow me around this corner to my left. You have a reclaimed wooden two car garage, which is only accessible from your guest house. And then to my left, you've got the three car garage, which is accessible from your main house. And I love how this exterior cantilever actually curves all the way around right here. You can see from these camera angles how unique this detail is. And that's not the only curved cantilever that we'll see in the property. We have one of the largest curved cantilevers that we have ever seen before on our channel, which is located in the backyard where you have two pools and some amazing golf course views. Now let's continue down. Drought tolerant landscaping continues throughout this entire exterior. We see floor to ceiling walls of glass, which greet us into your beautiful entry. Also, we've got this retaining wall, which actually separates the entrance from your guest house and your main house right here. We've got veneer stone details here on the outside of the home, which we also will see on the inside, more cacti. Follow me down this pathway right here. If you take a look up above, we also have more of the smooth stucco details on these curved cantilevers. And you have this oval cutout detail here from the roof of the property. So you're getting a lot of natural light and fresh air at this entrance. And you have all the green plant life. It makes for a truly unique experience every time you come up to your front door. Now, with that being said, follow me straight ahead. 
Let's go and take a look inside. So we have just made it inside of this newly constructed property here in Summerlin, Nevada. Now, first coming into this section, we of course are greeted with all of the floor to ceiling walls of glass, which of course provide lots of natural light here, not only into the entry, but throughout the rest of this main level. We also have more walls of glass throughout this entire space, and of course, I'll talk to you guys about those throughout our tour. Also, right when you enter, you've got the beautiful tiled walls going up from the floor to the ceiling. Unique art pieces are shown not only at this entry, but also throughout the rest of the property. We've got some recessed floor lighting right here as well, so you can illuminate your art pieces when it gets a little dark outside, of course. We have a lot to see here on this main floor. We've got the living space, kitchen, dining room area, glass enclosed wine cellar, primary bedroom suite, and my favorite of all of those is your backyard. Guys, this has got to be one of the coolest swimming pool entrances that we have ever seen before in any property. Not to mention you look up right above me and you have this massive ceiling cutout right here, which of course provides so much natural light here in to your first pool section. And then you've got this floating walkway, which leads you into your massive main pool. This has to be one of the largest residential pools I think we've seen on this channel. Then you have the other pool here to the right. You can enter both pools from these floating steps right here. They're both infinity edge here on either side. And then from this vantage point, you are getting remarkable views here of your beautiful golf course, your private golf course here in this community. Now we also have one of these floating egg chairs this is crazy. So you can see this is actually hanging right above your pool attached from the ceiling right here. Maybe later on in the tour, I'll try to sit in it and try not to get wet, try not to fall in the pool, but what a crazy place to relax. Sit in your chair right above your pool, dip your feet in, get some work done. And this is your backdrop. You've got the mountains in the distance, beautiful strip views and more golf course views. We've got a whole lot to see out here, but we're gonna save the backyard portion for later on in our video. Also, we have these corner pocket sliding glass doors. You can't even tell that they're there because they have disappeared right here into the wall. But of course, you can close up this section as well if you don't wanna have all the fresh air. Now, first things first, let's talk about your main family room, which you are greeted with right when you enter the property. You've got contemporary staging located all across this space. It's a very large, very spacious living room area. We have seating spaces to my left and right, coffee table in the center, and even more spaces to relax. This almost looks like a full-size bed right here. Many people can relax out here, lay down, take a nap. This is a great place to entertain your guests. Up above on the ceiling, we've got all of the built-in speakers, recessed lighting throughout. And if you take a look to my right, we've got more texture tiled walls here, glass enclosed linear fireplace, flat screen TV is mounted right above. And if you look at the TV specifically, this is actually a cinematic tour of this property that we're touring right now. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now, we've got a lot more to see here on this main floor. Down the hallway, we have access to a couple different guest bedrooms and a living area directly in front of me. That leads us to the primary bedroom suite, which we'll see in just a bit. But I actually wanna go ahead and take you directly here in front of me. And now we are led into your beautiful contemporary kitchen. Also something very interesting about this kitchen, if you look down below, you actually have these tracks and this is where the pocket sliding doors actually are located. So if you want to, you can actually separate this entire space if you like. Now, behind me, this is the kitchen. You've got bar seating for up to five of your guests here at this waterfall edge stone countertop 
three shaded light fixtures are positioned right above. And of course, we've got minimalist custom cabinetry located throughout the entire space. I love how clean and simple this kitchen looks. You also have some ambient LED light strips, which border the lower perimeter of this entire kitchen. And we will be seeing that throughout the rest of the kitchen and in the wine cellar. So I will make sure to show you that. Also, if we take a look right here, this is your side-by-side -side paneled fridge and freezer designed by Sub-Zero, of course. You've got that minimalist interior that we always love to see on this channel. Upper shelving. Let's continue around this corner. You've got your Wolf Appliance Suite right here. You've got your espresso machine, microwave, and your warming drawers right down below that. And then to the left, that is your walk-in pantry. And now let's continue through. We've got more items to see. We've got more custom cabinetry located throughout the space. You've got your custom built in items inside and they're all soft closing, which you guys know I love to see. You've got your six burner Wolf stovetop double oven situated right below that. And right above, you've got your stainless steel hood, beautiful stone backsplash to match the color of the countertops. And of course, you've got your paneled dishwasher right here built by Cove. Next to that, you've got your farm style sink, stainless steel fixtures are shown throughout, and then you've got another Cove dishwasher. So you've got one on either side of your sink, which is ideal. And then you've got some more custom cabinetry, which once again is soft closing. Now moving through, you've got more of the ambient LED light strips bordering the perimeter of the space, more cabinetry. And if we continue down, this is your formal dining room space, which has seating for up to 12 of your guests at this very long dining table, one of the larger tables we've seen before on this channel. Above, more shaded light fixtures to match the ones that we saw over there in the kitchen. Now, another item we have to discuss is of course your glass enclosed wine cellar right here. Completely temperature controlled. Open this up. Guys, this looks absolutely amazing. You've got space for all of your favorite bottles of wine right here. They've also added the river rock detail below this space, and we will be seeing that same river rock later on in the video. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but it's gonna be somewhere in the primary suite. That's all I'm gonna say. It adds more character to the space, of course. You've got more LED light strips to just illuminate this wine cellar right here. You've got floor to ceiling stainless steel storage inside of there. It looks amazing. It's a great statement piece. Imagine you're just sitting, eating a meal, looking at your favorite bottles of wine, or you take a look to your left and you are looking at your absolutely massive swimming pool right here. One of the two swimming pools included with this property. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the backyard. Take a look up above at this shaded cantilever section. This is absolutely unbelievable. So of course the cantilever is curved right above me here and you can see the reflection of the pool water up above me here on this cantilever. Just giving you such an amazing feeling. You're relaxing out here. It's so peaceful. You're looking up at your water reflection. Maybe you're sitting in that floating chair right there. You've also got this Baja shelf. So in case you don't wanna go all the way inside your main pool, you can relax halfway in a chair in that Baja shelf. Right next to that, you've got your completely infinity slash zero edge hot tub right here. Very large jacuzzi, I should mention. You could easily fit 12 to 15 guests inside the space. From this vantage point, we are getting amazing views of that curved cantilever, and it cantilevers all the way over to your primary bedroom suite, which we will be seeing right after this. This space seriously looks remarkable. You've got the floating steps, the cacti, the beautiful plant life, the turf section. This is insane. Now follow me down these steps right here. We have several day beds, which you can relax in, overlook your turf section, overlook your pool, and the private golf course here in this community. This is remarkable. We've got more plant life all throughout. And then directly in front of me, we've got more pool chairs, five to be exact, lining the side of this pool right here. And then once again, just take a look at the house from this vantage point. 
this is seriously unlike anything we've ever seen before. One of the best homes created here in Nevada, I've got to tell you. Completely infinity edge here for the pool. This is seriously crazy. Now, let's go ahead and take a turn up this section here. That is not all for this backyard. We have more items to see. So follow me right up these steps. We've got more pool chairs and we have your outdoor kitchen. You've got bar seating for five guests right here and you have a lot of inner workings here for this kitchen. You've got your stainless steel sink here to my left, multiple refrigeration sections. You've got your built-in ice maker right over here. Of course, got to have that. Then you've got two barbecues to my right, two grill stations, and then you also have your very own pizza oven. So this outdoor kitchen has literally everything you could possibly need. You've also got more seating out there to my right hand side with the built in fire pit, and you also have more amazing views of that golf course. Also in front of me, we have a spiral staircase, which takes us up to the rooftop deck which we will be seeing later on in our tour. But now follow us back inside and let's go ahead and check out your private living room section. You've got a table here with seating for four guests, built-in dishwasher and a sink section is located to my left. You've got more built-in shelving sections across this area. Soft closing cabinetry is shown all throughout this space flat screen TV, you've got some vertical wooden backsplash, more seating sections, and you have the sliding glass door. And that leads you out into a private turfed area and that actually connects you into more of the guest bedrooms, which we will be seeing later on in our video. And one more thing I did want to mention, if you wish, you can actually section off this entire living space with these sliding doors, which is a pretty cool feature. Now coming outside of the area, we get more views from the floor to ceiling walls of glass, looking out to your architectural entrance. This is remarkable. Now, if we take a turn here to my right hand side, we have access into a powder room, which has more of the river rock details and the vessel sink with the circular mirror right above that. And then down this hall, you've also got your elevator access, which takes you up to the rooftop deck which we will be seeing later. And you also have further access to that turfed living space. Now, follow me down this private hallway right here. We have more floor to ceiling walls of glass separating us from the entrance. In front of me, we have access into a private guest bedroom, which has another one of those floating egg chairs. You've got more contemporary furniture all across the space access to that turf living space and you have an ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and you have a glass enclosed walk-in shower space which is nicely tiled with penny tile and you have a walk-in closet right next to that and if we continue outside of that bedroom and to the left we have another private bedroom with contemporary furniture all across the space more access to the turfed area, nightstands built in on both sides of the bed. You've got a walk-in closet with all of your necessary built-in items, and you have an ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity, penny tile, and you also have a glass enclosed walk-in shower space. Now follow me outside of that hallway. Let's go ahead and continue our tour to the very end of this space. We have access into your laundry room, which has space for two appliances, built-in sink, and you further have access into your private garage. Once again, we're getting more great views of that entrance. I love the use of the floor to ceiling glass, not only in the entry, but of course, throughout the rest of the home. Now let's continue our tour down here to the left. Very open concept floor plan. More floor to ceiling sliders have actually disappeared into this wall right here. Now, moving through to my left, we have this glass enclosed living area. This is a very cool space because you have this circular table in the center where you can sit at least six to seven guests. You've also got the flat screen TV to my right, more tiled walls throughout the space, seating section, and you can see right here, you've got direct access outside to your front yard. So if you wanted to make this an office, 
that would be ideal because you could get easy access to and from your car in case you have to leave for a meeting. Also, to my left, you've got the mirrored back wall right here and more custom cabinetry is shown throughout. And to my right, we have access into a full-size bathroom with the floating vanity and you have the glass enclosed walk-in shower space inside of that section. Now heading out from that glass enclosed area, we're also getting some amazing views of your second private pool with the ceiling cut out and more of the cacti. This view is just remarkable. Now let's continue our tour straight ahead. We actually have this pocket sliding door in case you wanna section yourself off from the primary bedroom suite. And this primary suite has a whole lot of items to see. It's pretty crazy. First things first, of course, you have the glass wall looking out to your outdoor shower with another architectural ceiling cutout and some more foliage. We'll go outside there in just a second, but before we do, follow me down this private hallway here. We have more of the veneer stone here like we have been seeing throughout the rest of the property. And you have some recessed floor lighting like we saw earlier to illuminate the space and add more character. You've got some vertical wooden panels which go from the floor up to the ceiling. And like I said earlier, we are gonna see a continuation of the river rock stone throughout this entire primary bathroom. And guys, this has to be one of the coolest primary bathrooms I have seen in quite some time. You've got your freestanding tub right here, surrounded by the river rock details. And the crazy thing about this bathroom is the fact that you can actually feel the fresh breeze from here. I am technically outside right now. You actually have more of the pocket sliding glass doors, which we have disappeared into the wall, creating that seamless indoor outdoor living experience. You get the fresh air. You of course get the natural lights all day long into the space. And the section actually wraps around even further to your exterior showers, which I did mention briefly a little bit earlier. We've got two rain heads here, of course. Fabricated marble shelving is located outside, which is crazy. And then up above, we've got that architectural ceiling cut out, like I mentioned earlier, and some plant life surrounds us here. What a great place to relax, take a shower outdoors. This is pretty crazy. Now also, to my right, you've got your glass enclosed walk-in shower space, complete with the beautiful marble details on the floor and the bench. Then we have subway tiles surrounding the walls here. And then on the ceiling, we've got more marble and we have this massive ceiling cutout for one of the coolest futuristic rain heads I think we've ever seen. Also, two body sprays here to my left with some more fabricated shelving. This bathroom just keeps getting cooler and cooler. And that's not all. Let's continue down. We've got the marble bench seating, which actually extends out from your shower here. And then to my right, we have your dual floating vanities right here with the marble countertops, vessel sinks. You've got the mounted mirrors on either side, shaded light fixtures, and more of the subway tile work on the walls like we did see in that shower. And right below, we've got more river rock details. So it kind of feels like you're outdoors, even though you're inside. This is so, so cool. We don't see details like this very often. Now to my left, this is your preparation vanity. It is very long, very linear. You've got more marble details on the countertops, waterfall edge. You've also got the soft closing cabinetry here. Of course, great spot to get ready before going outside, getting ready for work. Also, massive mirror surrounds this entire side of the wall. More river rock details continue to my right and my left. You've got a water closet to my left and some nook bench seating right here with more of the veneer stone. Now, you can see we've just made it into the bedroom portion of your primary suite. Of course, you've got that California king size bed right when you come in. You also, of course, have some built-in light fixtures on either side. Also, you can see right here, you've got some push to open custom cabinetry here, which actually reveals some closet storage. But don't worry, this is not the primary closet. We have a full primary closet down the hall that we'll show you in just a bit. And you've got your built-in sink, 
refrigeration, and espresso machine nicely located here in the primary suite. So you don't have to walk all the way down to the kitchen to get a coffee or get a glass of water. Now also, we've got more sliding glass doors right here, which once again lead us directly out here to the outdoors. You've got some pool chairs here, and if you take a look to my left, that is actually your private backyard, which we did see earlier. We are technically not in that backyard, but we are in the separate outdoor section, which is specifically for your primary bedroom suite. We have a cacti garden here to my right, lots of nice and bright plants throughout. And then this has got to be one of the coolest features we've ever seen in any primary suites. This primary suite has its very own infinity edge jacuzzi space overlooking the golf course, overlooking the Las Vegas Strip just down there in the distance. It looks so close right there. You can see the Luxor Pyramid so clearly. This is insane. Of course, you also get the mountains there in the distance, all the palm trees, and this is a very spacious jacuzzi. It might even be slightly larger than the one that we saw in the backyard. You can easily accommodate 10 to 15 people in here just at your primary suite jacuzzi. That's pretty crazy. We don't see stuff like that often, and this is where that cantilever begins, and it leads all the way back out there through your backyard space. What an amazing primary suite, but that's not all. We have a lot more to see. This is only about 50% of the primary suite. So follow me down this hallway right here. Once again, we have more recessed floor lighting located all across the space, more river rocks throughout the area, veneer stone. And if we take a turn to my right, we've just made it into your primary closet. Now this primary closet has two separate sections. We have this private closet right here with tons of spots to hold your clothing. You've also got lots of soft closing drawer spaces all throughout the area. And you've got the clear story window which brings more natural light in here. And then if we take a turn around the corner, this is the second closet area, which once again has more custom cabinetry. You've got the built-in shelving and the spots to hold your clothing. And we also see more of the veneer stone details here to my right. And then around this corner, we've made it here into your very own wellness room. You've got the stationary bicycle and the treadmill, and you also have some exterior access, which leads you to some beautiful plant life. You can go out there and relax and get that fresh breeze. Now heading out of that space, that concludes our tour for this main level. But now we have to head upstairs, check out the rooftop deck, and then we have to go and check out your private five bedroom guest house. So let's go ahead and do it. We have just made it out here to your private rooftop deck. I've actually taken the private elevator from inside the home, which we talked about earlier. Also next to that bedroom, you have a powder room with beautiful details all throughout. And now right next to that, you've got your private bar section with the waterfall edge countertop. You've also got bar seating for up to six, possibly seven guests here at this countertop. Inner workings of the bar include your very own stainless steel sink, refrigeration, and a dishwasher. Right above this space, you've got your mounted flat screen TV, and we have this reclaimed wooden detail, which wraps the entire ceiling here of this rooftop deck. You've also got the recessed linear LED light strips throughout this entire space. Outdoor furniture looks remarkable. It matches the same wood tone that we see here on this shaded section. Also, another thing we got to talk about, of course, you've got another seating section here with the built-in fire pit, but then you're getting the unobstructed views of the Las Vegas Strip here. Once again, you can see the Luxor in the distance that really just jumps out at me, and then the stratosphere on the far left. I mean, this is just insane, seriously. And it's not very far. You can get there fairly quickly from this location. Also, we got to talk about this view right over here. 
unobstructed golf course views, guys. This community is very private. It is also guard gated, so you're very safe here, I promise. Amazing hillside in the distance. Also, you've got some more exterior plant life here with the river rock details bordering the perimeter of this rooftop deck. Now, another thing I wanted to mention, you've got the metallic railing here. Spiral staircase also takes you back down to the backyard. And then we have more of the metallic screen details that we saw at the front of the property. Now, that's all for the main house. So now we got to head back downstairs and check out your private guest house. back outside to the front of the property and now we're going to go ahead and enter your detached guest house. So follow me inside of here. This is the very spacious entrance. You're greeted with a living space with more contemporary furniture throughout the area. Flat screen TV to my left and we have your circular dining table which also is complete with some built-in bench seating throughout to make it more cozy, a very nice addition. You get more views of your exterior foliage here. And if we wrap around the corner, this is your fully complete kitchen here for your guest house. You've got bar seating for up to four guests right here. Fridge and freezer is located to my right. You've got the induction cooktop, stainless steel dishwasher here to my left built-in sink, custom cabinetry is also shown throughout. And then to the left, you've got your Thermador, espresso machine, microwave, and your oven setup. Now, you've also got this staircase, which takes you up to the top floor of this guest house, where we have all the remaining guest bedrooms. And down this hallway, we have access to one guest bedroom and a powder room. So follow me right over here around the corner. This is going to be the most spacious guest bedroom that we will be seeing here for this property. You've got the contemporary furniture across the space, walk-in closet with all of your necessary built-in items, and we get just great views of the exterior architecture, the smooth stucco finish. This is amazing. Now also around this corner, we have your ensuite bathroom. It's reminiscent of the other primary bathroom that we saw earlier. You have two similar floating vanities and subway tiles going from the floor up to the ceiling, vessel sinks. You've also got the two shaded light fixtures on either side of the space and water closet around the corner. And then to my left, this is your glass enclosed walk-in shower space, which has more of the subway tile details all across the space, tiled floors with the bench seating, and if we head outside of that bedroom and down this hall, you've got your side-by-side -side laundry appliances here with this slider closet. And then around the corner, this is your powder room, which has a floating vanity and a circular mirror. And then on the far side of the wall, that is your garage access. Now follow us upstairs. Let's check out the rest of the bedrooms. We have just made it up here to the second floor of your guest house. And right when you come in, you get unobstructed strip views right here. This is amazing. Now, around this corner, we have access into a full bathroom with a floating vanity, vessel sink, circular mirror, and you have a glass enclosed walk-in shower space with penny tiles throughout. And that bathroom is actually shared between this guest bedroom right here, which has great views and a built-in closet area, and the next guest bedroom, which also has contemporary furniture and another built-in closet area. Now, let's continue our tour down this hallway. I like the contemporary railing in this space. And around this corner, we have another guest bedroom with contemporary furniture and great views. And then right next to that, this is the final guest bedroom that we will be seeing here for this top floor. And right next to that bedroom, this is another full bathroom with the floating vanity, vessel sink, and the glass enclosed walk-in shower, which doubles as a bathtub. And this bathroom is shared between these two guest bedrooms. Now let's continue our tour and follow me back down to the backyard one more time. We've made it to the backyard. 
What an amazing property. Thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end of this video. If you like the property, don't forget to subscribe. We're touring more homes just like this one every single week on the channel. Huge thank you to Lily for making this tour possible. You can find her info down below. And thank you to Blue Heron for constructing such an amazing property. I'll see you guys in the next one.